Um, you know, that's all you need in life. Coffee, death metal, push-ups. I've been jamming this band called Skeletal Remains. It's kind of like an obituary style band, but then I always jam, you know, the, the, the go-tos, like Dying Fetus, Cannibal, Cataclysm. There's a lot of good death metal um, of the last 10 years, or even the last 15 years. Some of the best death metals the last 15 years. The last three cannibals are incredible. They hold up with the entire catalog. Same with Dying Fetus. I think the reason why I've been more kind of in tune with death metal than I have been with hardcore is because hardcore, it just topically is so redundant where at least with death metal, it's not just, oh, payback and stab me in the back and you know, this guy fucked me over. It's death metal is like, you can have the horror movie stuff, you can have apocalyptic type of stuff, you can have surgical type of stuff. You can, there's so many different topics where it's just more interesting to me topically than hearing about you know an angry 20 something year old stuff. I mean, I, was, I already did that. I was already 20 and angry. I need, like, I need to be taken to a place like visually and mentally and like a story. That's why I think when, you know, when people are negative against death metal, I'm just like, you don't like horror movies? Like, it's the same shit. It's just entertainment. Like, some of the misogynistic stuff is a little tiring. That, I will say. But look at Carcass. They don't do any of that type of shit. And that shit's, Carcass is incredible. We told all the clubs, we told all the promoters, we told all the, we told the agents, the managers, like, this is the tour we're doing. We're taking out Exodus, Napalm Death, and Black Dahlia Murder. You know, nobody wanted to do it because at that time it was like, really, you're gonna have thrash, modern, like, you know, metal or whatever, death metal, and like old school death metal. Luckily, the tour did great because we also had Despise Icon on it and First Blood. But, you know, that's the thing. That, that's 10 years ago. That was 2006. Everybody who's just getting into metal, they're always like commenting on, like, why is Hatebreed playing with Devil Driver? Yo, where have you been? Just shut up and come to the show and have a good time. Nobody needs all these opinions. Nobody, the, the, we've been promoting Unity since the band first came out. Some of our first shows was Internal Bleeding, Six Feet Under. Like we played the Roxy in Long Island, 1995 was Six Feet Under. We waited outside to tell Chris Barnes we loved Hammer Smash Face and you know all the Cannibal records and we loved the, the you know that Six Feet Under Haunted record. When that came out, it was like, wow, that's Chris Barnes singing like over an obituary style record. But now, 20 years later, people are still like baffled that there's a crossover. It's like, you gotta just shut up and enjoy it.